Number 15. Bus Chase in 1997, a heavyset infuriated man loaded a city bus just after 5 p.m. While holding a knife, he demanded the driver and lone passenger exit the bus. He began to drive off and led police on a two-hour chase through city and residential streets. The bus sideswiped several cars and knocked over other various structures. During the chase, the driver took the same route several times, making sure to pass along one specific residential road where citizens had lined the streets to cheer and watch the chase. Finally, the bus came to a stop and the man was taken into custody immediately. In the mess after the bus stopped, the suspect resisted arrest and was accidentally brushed by the wheels of a police chaser. He was taken to a hospital and later transferred to jail to await trial. A clear motive was never identified. Number 14. Punching Cars In 2013, a motorcyclist was engaged in a high-speed police chase when he began to become enraged and knocked off the rearview mirrors of at least three cars. He took off his gloves and wristwatch and threw them down in a fit of rage. It's unclear exactly when, but at some point he broke either his forearm or wrist for the remainder of the chase, he seems visibly upset, hanging his head sobbing, screaming, and quickly losing consciousness. He appeared to simply give up on where he was going as he hung his head and raced forward at over 90 miles per hour. Eventually, he exited the highway and sped down a dirt trail before stopping and fell off his bike. It was clear that this driver was emotionally distressed, but the exact motive was never revealed. After the live broadcast of this chase, the audience began uploading their own videos and photos of the incident to share how heart-wrenching it was. Number 13. Semi-Truck High-Speed Chase Semi-trucks, or 18-wheelers, are known to be slow-moving vehicles when it comes to traffic. Of course, these massive trucks aren't actually made to travel slowly, and it is mostly a result of safety precautions. When a large truck does finally begin to speed up, it's hard to slow it down and can end badly for everyone involved. This news footage shows a high-speed chase involving a huge transport truck. The truck reaches high speeds and even manages to make various whips and turns that most would not expect from a vehicle of this size. The semi successfully turns sharply around corners and over medians to avoid arrest. A police cruiser aims at the rear tire, but apparently hits something that caused the truck to emit toxic fumes. As sparks from the rims fly towards the lumber on the truck's load, a fire begins to slowly burn. Still, this truck manages to keep the chase going for much longer. The truck continues to travel while fully engulfed in flames and does not come to a stop until half of the lumber is dropped from the trailer. Number 12. Horse Chase in the rural areas of San Bernardino, California, it is not uncommon for citizens to own and freely ride their horses or other livestock. In this case, a man took a horse from a neighbor and led police on a wild chase that you could only imagine from a cartoon. The 30-year-old man led police on a chase that lasted nearly half an hour. Eventually, the horse bucks the rider off, likely from exhaustion. He falls to the ground as police approach. He puts his hands up in surrender before putting them behind his back. Aside from the strange factor of this being a high-speed horse chase, something previously unheard of in modern times, this also became a highlight in the police brutality debate. Number 11. Pokemon Card Rampage This chase is relatively mundane. A sedan outruns the police at high speeds, luckily avoiding damage to other vehicles or pedestrians. Eventually, the car comes to a stop and officers take down the suspect. What makes this case so unique is the backstory. It's unclear how old the suspect was, however, he likely wasn't older than 16. During an argument, his parents threw away his collection of Pokemon cards, so he took their car and went on a chase. While his precious Pokemon cards seemed to be the motive, it's uncertain exactly what he hoped to gain from the ordeal. Number 10. Motorcycle Rider Evades Police Kyle Katsandras was seriously hurt while jumping train tracks on his motorbike. Therefore, law enforcement ultimately impleted actions to prevent similar stunts. However, X Games gold medalist Colby Raha completely disregarded this rule in November 2017. 
When he jumped over a track and ran from police, Raha planned the jump and calculated a safe landing. Though police were not informed of the stunt, word got out and they were waiting at the scene as Raha took off. They attempted to stop him but Raha was able to evade police, successfully jump the track, and completely run from the situation. Afterwards, Raha and all crew members took off before the police could say a word to them. Number 9. Grandma's Ride in July 2016, just outside Houston, Texas, a 12-year-old girl took her grandmother's car and ended up in an intense high-speed chase. The young girl took her 5-year-old sister along for the ride and was allegedly going to visit her 18-year-old boyfriend she had been forbidden to see. The vehicle reached at least 100 miles per hour and she drove into three other vehicles during the chase. Police claim that when the car finally came to a stop, the five-year-old was so shaken that she ran immediately into the arms of an officer. The only way this chase was successfully stopped is because OnStar was contacted and the car was remotely shut down. Footage from the coverage, dashcam footage from the police cruisers, as well as dashcam footage from the suspect car all provided an interesting perspective for this unique chase. Number 8. Rampage Marvin Heemeyer is infamous for leading police on a high-speed chase in which he caused millions of dollars in damage with the use of a modified bulldozer. In June 2004, Marvin was upset over zoning disputes and took out his anger in this elaborate way. He modified a massive bulldozer with layers of metal and concrete before driving through city streets and basically taking down various buildings. Among the locations he wrecked was the mayor's home and town hall. The bulldozer eventually got stuck in the basement of a store, and Marvin took his own life before police were able to fully approach him. From this incident, Marvin gained a strange amount of respect and even admiration. A year after the rampage, the vehicle was taken apart and its metal was scrapped across numerous different scrap metal yards to prevent admirers from buying all the pieces. Marvin left behind tapes in which he explained this act was motivated by God assigning the task to him. Marvin left behind tapes in which he explained this act was motivated by God assigning the task to him. Number 7. Chase Ends Badly Unfortunately for the criminals involved, police chases never end well. Whether it's by foot, car, or even boat, they are almost always caught up with and hurt in the process. This video is a prime example of that truth. A small sedan is leading police on a chase along the highway. For about four minutes, the car manages to avoid police by weaving through traffic, taking one ways and crossing medians. The success doesn't last long though because the tiny car begins to swerve around the highway, likely from a worn tire, before driving into a nearby sedan. The car smokes as it loses shrapnel and wrecks into nearby fences and walls. Eventually, the car bears to the right of the road and the passengers run out. It, at first, appears they will all attempt to flee on foot, but instead all three of them topple to the ground and put their hands up in surrender. Obviously, this chase ended in several arrests. Number 6. Tank Rampage Unfortunately, many troops ultimately suffer from mental illness such as PTSD after returning from war. Army veteran Sean Nelson was one of those troops. He suffered from PTSD and various physical disabilities. He was an unemployed plumber in May 1995 when he took an M60A3 Patton tank and went on a rampage. After a long chase, he eventually stopped the tank and began to exit it. However, police fired and ultimately struck him down because they feared he would return to the tank. If they didn't take him out, this chase became a topic of debate in relation to police brutality and the assistance offered to US troops after leaving service. This chase also became infamous for the sheer and obvious fact that a massive tank was used in city streets. Many claim that the city was essentially held hostage by Nelson. Number 5. Screaming Speed Racer in 2009, police received a call about a woman screaming outside her car on a busy highway road in the early morning hours. When officers arrived, the woman was behaving erratically and ultimately led police on an insane chase. Through the chase, she would frequently stop her cars, open the door, almost fully exit the car, scream, 
cry and even laugh. Though it was never confirmed if the suspect was under the influence, her behavior was clearly not normal. While this made for quite an entertaining chase for viewers, it was probably a horrible day for the officers involved. Number 4. Donut Driver What makes this very short chase so crazy is that there's just no solid explanation for it. The woman involved was not a criminal, and prior to this incident, had never committed a crime. What occurs is literally what you'd expect when someone just has a bad enough day and finally snaps. In this middle of a busy intersection, the woman decides to do several donuts around passing cars. She runs directly into a police cruiser, does another donut to hit the officer again, and then begins an attempt to flee. However, she runs directly off the road into a ditch and flips her car. She is pulled from the car mostly all right and arrested. Bystanders were cheering for the cops to take her life or cheering her on. Number 3. Slowest Car Chase Ever High-speed police chase is a common term and usually when you hear it, you get a clear mental image. What about a low-speed police chase though? This chase in Texas left police and viewers totally baffled thanks to how slow the driver was actually traveling. A man evaded arrest by going about 20 miles per hour for over two hours. Two police cruisers followed slowly and patiently behind the car for the full two hours as pedestrians and fellow drivers enjoyed the show. Officers were unable to block the car or exit their vehicles due to specific Fort Worth laws concerning police chases. Finally, a police SWAT car performed a motion to knock the car off the road, and the suspect was taken into custody. Number 2. FedEx Applicant This chase is very different from most, because during the first half it doesn't even appear to be a wild police chase. A FedEx driver stopped at a gas station and quickly noticed his truck full of shipments was missing. Police immediately set out to find the thief. When they did catch up to the 19-year-old suspect, he drove in a calm manner, he obeyed the speed limit and used his turn signals. Viewers quickly began to joke that this guy was simply trying to get a job as a driver and wanted to prove himself. After an officer tried to approach the vehicle though, it quickly transformed into a typical chase that ended in sparks and an arrest. Before we get to number 1, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. I'm currently doing a super poll on my Instagram. If you believe ghosts are real, then go to my most recent photo and tap the like button. If you don't, DM me saying why. When you're done, come right back to this video to find out the number one entry. Also, follow me on Twitter at YTChills because that's where I post video updates. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person, so if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. This way, you'll be notified of the new videos we upload every Tuesday and Saturday. Number 1. The White Bronco O.J. Simpson was a famous football player and sponsor. Today, his name is infamous for the trial surrounding his former wife. After being found not guilty for the crime, O.J. became a household name. One of the most entertaining yet suspenseful aspects of the entire investigation was the police chase from June 1994. After an investigation, O.J. was supposed to turn himself in as the prime suspect of the crime. Instead, he led police on an intense chase in a white Bronco. This is often referred to as the Bronco Chase. Longtime friend of OJ was the driver of the vehicle and was later charged with aiding a criminal. A unique part of this chase was the massive crowds lined along the streets with signs cheering them on. Thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe because we upload new countdowns every Tuesday and Saturday. Or, if you're still not convinced, here are some of our other videos that I think you'd like. Enjoy!